What up, peeps? What's going on, everyone? Figured I'd do a little drive and talk, shoot the shit, tell you guys what's going on. Figured I'd take you guys for the ride. You guys could see a little bit of uh, my shitty neighborhood. <laughs> I hate New York. Oh, God. So much traffic, so many cars. It's like, oh, can't stand it. Hopefully, the audio is good. Hopefully, it's fine. I got two GoPros going at the same time hopefully they are recording we'll see while I'm editing obviously if you're watching this then it all worked out good so uh, yeah I'm trying to like adjust the uh, sunlight situation with the camera I think this looks good I put on something uh, like a lens uh, something for the lens like one of those um, I don't know what the hell you call them lens cover shades it's almost like putting sunglasses on it. I know what the name is. I just can't remember what the hell it's called right about now But I do have the GoPro uh, 8 no, I'm sorry. Yeah, GoPro 8 That you guys are seeing that way and the GoPro 9 recording me So hopefully everything is being recorded everything is fine right now the both displays actually just shut off so I can't see they are on I see the lights on, but I think it's a battery saver thingy that's on there, so this way it doesn't kill the battery. So let's see how this all works out. All right, doing a little iced coffee, a little sipping of some ass coffee. I make my own iced coffee. I don't know, I just find it more convenient. Shout out to Robert Shkreli, my man. He hooks me up with some awesome coffee. So I make a pitcher of coffee, put it in the fridge, let it cool, then I use my Yeti stays cool all day I'm well, not all day obviously I'm gonna refill it put some more uh, ice some more coffee in there as the day goes on Let's have a sip it's a hot one today I think it's like 90 right now 91 91 degrees beautiful day yesterday too 91 yesterday I actually uh, cleaned the whole car I mean, I did a thorough wash. I hadn't been washed in like two weeks. We had lots of rain. I drove around in the rain too, so there was a lot of dirt and grime all over it from the rain. Cleaned it up. Came out nice. So I'm thinking about doing some videos on uh, basically car detailing on this channel. Let me know what you guys think about that. I can show you guys all the tips and tricks that I use, how I like to clean my car, the stuff I use, the methodology of mine on the way I do my detailing of my vehicles. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. Maybe uh, if you're really interested in it, I might even do some videos on products. Who knows? Maybe I'll do some videos on like uh, different detailing products and stuff like that. This is like my old neighborhood, right over here. We're driving through. This is where I grew up. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll even take a ride by the house where I grew up. Why not make a left turn here? Is that recording? Yes, it is. Okay, good. It's recording. So if I just tap on the screen, the screen comes on. All right. Battery life isn't the greatest on these GoPros. I can tell you that much. I think I'm already at 89% on the the Hero 8. I'm not even sure what the Hero 9. The Hero 9 has a bigger battery, so let's see how that works out. Yeah, this area over here, it's uh, Bayside, Queens. I grew up here. When did I leave? I left, I think, when I was 19. I think I was 19 years old when I moved out of here. Hopefully the audio is good. I'm testing out a new lapel mic. I, I don't even have it on me. I have it like right up here. So it should be picking up my audio fine. Hopefully. Yeah. So yeah, my old neighborhood right over here. My cousin lives right over here on the left side. House over here on the left. Oh, my old block right here. I used to play on this block right here. I used to play stickball, dodgeball. All kinds of balls, basketball, everything, all kinds of sports. And my house is right there on the right. Well, my old house. Oh, they got it decorated nice. All right. 
There's my aunt's house. My aunt still lives on this block, too. A couple of uh, friends that I grew up with. I'm not sure if they even live here. I haven't talked to them in years. I don't even know where they are. I'm bad like that. Oh, they're bad like that, too. So I guess we're both... We're all bad like that. Oh, we got a student driver in front of us. They don't know how to put it in drive. That's the one thing about over here, man. You got so many student drivers. Look at these crazy fucks. Yeah. I'm telling you, I can't stand driving in New York. Oh, my God. Am I getting a phone call? Oh, no phone call. All right. Yes, this is uh, Francis Lewis Boulevard over here in Queens, if anybody's interested. So, I had an injury on my arm. You guys want to see it? Check that out. Look at that. Look how nasty that shit looks. Yeah, it's still healing. It's still healing up. What are you going to do? Shit happens. I was detailing the car and uh, ladder. I put the ladder against the garage and I don't know what happened. I didn't put it properly and I saw it starting to like tip over towards the car and I leaped. I did like one of those, you know, like those slow motion and blocked the ladder <laughs> from hitting the car, but I screwed up my arm. I'd rather have this, this damage on my arm, the scrapes and whatever that I've been going through now for almost three weeks than uh, denting my, the car. No way. You know. Let me see. So, yeah. One thing I uh, update on the vehicle. So, I did get a 2021 BMW X5. It's got the, uh, it's not the M engine. It's the uh, X40i drive. But I have the M package. Everything else about it. The body, rims, brakes tires the all the the ground the what do you call it, the kit that's on here it's got the black trim everywhere it's all m on here for the exception obviously of the uh, engine exhaust you know whatever's m you know like for driving i guess uh, more for the speed and m suspensions and stuff like that it was just ridiculous too much money to get something like that didn't need that thank god I was looking at uh, the uh, 550i, the eight-cylinder. It was like $30,000. All right, sorry for that little edit there. I had a phone call. I don't even know what I was talking about. I think I was talking about the car. So, yeah, the BMW, the 550i was like thirty, twenty dollars to $30,000 more just to have an eight-cylinder engine. I was like, nah, I don't think so. And uh, thank God I didn't because this, uh, the six-cylinder... With the turbo, <laughs> this thing is quick. It's quick. It's for me. It's perfect. I love the way this thing drives. So so far, I've been happy. There's some quirks with it, like I have um, the uh, heads-up display. I have a setting to where, if I see like a, if there's like a speed camera or one of those red light cameras, it alerts me on the heads-up display, and I have it set up like that inside the car through the menu the menu. But sometimes it's just like randomly once a week, it'll switch instead of it being on the heads up display, it'll be in, inside the instrument cl cluster here. Which is annoying because the way I put my arm, the way I drive, it blocks off that area. Like there's no tone. I wish there was a, some sort of tone, like a little like alert ring that it'll make when, you know, when there's a speed camera. Because it's New York, that's... <laughs> They want to get your money. They got cameras everywhere. Speed cameras, red light. Look, the red light cameras, I could understand. You know, that's dangerous. But the speed cameras are just kind of ridiculous that they have here. It's annoying. I mean, who the hell does 25 miles per hour? I can't. Can't do it. Oh. So, yeah. So, randomly, it'll change up on its own, which is annoying. Uh, other than that, uh, really haven't had any other like issues or problems with it. Nothing like that. So, which has been good. Let me make sure this is recording. 
I don't know, I pressed the button by mistake again. I keep on pressing the wrong buttons. I gotta get, learn how to use these GoPros properly. I don't know, I'm bad at GoPros. Let me see here. Yeah, I need some sort of little sunshade. The sun is giving like a glare. I don't know, it's a sunny day today. I need to figure it out. I gotta find a better spot to mount the GoPro. Looks like the, the angle of the windshield the sun is getting in. I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually. I do more of these. Maybe I'll find a different spot to mount. Maybe I'll mount the camera over there, up high. Yeah, I gotta figure it out. But I'm just using what I have. I had bought this uh, GoPro stand that I have uh, mounted on the windshield. I had bought it a while ago. Used it a couple times. It's a little annoying. It sucks. I'll tell you guys the truth. And then I have this other like uh, clamp thing that I have clamped over there with the other GoPro. I actually got it clamped on the, uh, the display that I have here. The, I don't know what you call it, the tablet display, whatever it is. So I got it mounted there. Whatever, it does the job. So yeah, getting back to the detailing stuff. I don't know, that's, I used to do car detailing years ago. I worked in a detail shop. This was when I was like 19, 20? I think it was 20. Was I 20? Yeah, I think it was 20 years old. Worked in a detail shop, so I have some knowledge of detailing, but obviously since then, there's been just so many new technologies and products that have come out to where a lot of the stuff from back then is kind of irrelevant when it comes to like products, but uh, techniques are still basically the same you know doing your polishing and your compounding of the cars using the you know like an orbiter uh, a polisher you know so I basically have that knowledge I haven't done it in years though to tell you guys the truth but uh, I'm gonna start doing it I'm gonna do some work on my I'm gonna actually my wife's uh, car needs a complete detail complete so I did, a, I ordered, a, I got a carport coming that's gonna go in front of my garage because I get too much sun. And for me to do this detailing stuff, I need less sun. I can't fit in the garage. I got so much stuff inside my garage. I've kind of emptied it out a little bit, but I'll be doing a separate video showing you guys my garage setup. I should have, wish I had a video of before. I did what I did so far, but I'm planning on doing some more because it needs to be cleaned out. I need more room and I have a I don't, do you consider it a two-car garage but for like two small cars but you can't really do anything with when your car is in a garage you can't really there's not enough room inside the garage if you get my drift you know so it's one of those situations where I can't really do the work inside the garage so I figured I'm gonna get a carport I already ordered the carport which is gonna go in which I wanted anyway because of all the bird shit and stuff like that that fall on the car. I don't want no bird shit on this car. So I'm gonna put the car port and then I'm getting like these mesh rollable screens I'm gonna attach to it to come down. So this way to block wind and sun from coming into the carport area, I'm gonna mount some light fixtures inside the carport. So this way I can do my work on the cars inside there and start doing videos. I gotta, like these GoPros, I'll have them mounted up inside the carport and just record away you know just something to do obviously with the vape game everything is slow right now yeah it's it's slow you know I'm getting it to at least put up at least two to three videos a week but um I don't know I just I like I like doing videos of stuff you know stuff that I'm passionate about obviously I'm passionate about vaping but there ain't much for vaping to do videos on but I also am passionate about cars I love just cleaning I love clean cars I love having my cars immaculate and clean like this here I wash it at least once a week I'm out there washing it you know and it's not because it's dirty it's got a little you know pollen and shit like that on there it's more for me I find it very therapeutic it's very therapeutic for me to just sit there and clean the car. 
I got some music playing in the background. Sit there and just zone out, clean the car. It's just very therapeutic, so I enjoy it. Yeah, let's open up the window. I know we're probably gonna get some noise, outdoor noise, but uh, yeah, I want to take have a vape, you know. Yeah, good old New York. This area here is uh, Whitestone. Yeah, we're on Whitestone right now. And this dude over here, poor guy waiting for the bus. There we go. Oh, there's a good old car wash. I used to go to that car wash. That's why I washed my cars there. But uh, that's like the worst thing to do is wash your car at a car wash. They just, they destroy your paint. The car might look clean and all, but you're getting so much swirls and stuff. If you got any kind of protection on your car, like a wax or anything, that shit just strips it right off. Yeah, no good. Car washes are no good. These are some new stores that just uh, opened up here. Pizzeria, some printing sign store over here. Hmm. Yeah, grand opening signs on it. Looks pretty nice, they did a good job on it. I think this used to be a, what was it, like a real estate or some sort of camera? Not camera, like a film uh, developing place of some sort, some shit, or no, it was a printing place. That was there, something like that. I don't know what the hell was there. But uh, pizzeria, that, I'll tell you something. There's, when it comes to pizzerias and delis, they are, there's so many here in New York, man. So many. Especially pizzerias here in Whitestone. Jeez. Moving. Look at people drive like they're fucking asleep or something. What the hell are these people doing here? They're selling jewelry outside? I don't know. Stuff like that. Yeah, man, it's cutthroat here. Driving in New York, it's cutthroat. You need to be aggressive. If you're not aggressive, man, people are just going to walk all over you. Or actually drive all over you. What's the terminology there? Yeah, man, you just you need to be aggressive when driving here in New York. I mean, yesterday I went to Home Depot. And no traffic. Just it's uh, There's no highways to drive to Home Depot for me. It's a 10-minute drive. 10 minute drive it took me no joke i left at 11 in the morning from my house remember it's a 10 minute drive with no traffic so i left at 11 in the morning i got home at one o'clock in the afternoon and remember i was in home depot for maybe under an hour in home depot the traffic that what i went through to get here actually there was a highway coming back and i got caught out with uh in a traffic jam there but it's like oh my god and only that I almost got into like two accidents it seems like every time I drive, I go anywhere, I'm always like, there's always something that almost happens. Fucking annoying. Uh, and this isn't even the bad part of New York driving wise. Oh my God, you drive in Manhattan? Oh my God, oh Brooklyn? Oh, oh there's a bump there. Okay, I avoided it. Actually a pothole. Yeah, man, so. I'm telling you, it's stressful just driving here. I mean, by the time you finish with your drive, you get home, whatever, your blood pressure is like, oh, man, I can't stand it. It wasn't always this way, I'll tell you that much. It wasn't always this way. Back in the days in New York, I used to always say New York is where you want to be. It's the best. Not no more. Not no more. I want to get out of here. I want to move to Florida. That's where I want to go. And I know there's going to be those guys. Oh, what are you, retiring? No. You think everyone that's in Florida is retired? I just want to relocate. I want to live somewhere where it's just beautiful. Beautiful, less traffic. People are nice to each other, you know. More freedoms. Yeah, so... That's right. I mean, it's just 
awesome. Just driving in Florida, it's, yeah. You do your little ride, whatever, you're not stressed, you don't feel like killing someone. The way you feel when you're driving in New York. Yeah, man. And one thing about here in New York, there's just so many traffic lights. Traffic lights. We just actually, I should have said it, but we just passed the speed camera. Yeah, yeah, there was a speed camera. It's working now. It showed up on my heads up display. But uh, yeah, speed cameras galore. But yeah, the car here, I've been enjoying it. I love the suspension. I, I miss BMWs. I've always had BMWs. I had, uh, I had a five. Uh, well, my first one was a. I can't remember the year. Wow, I can't remember what year it was. I think it was an 86, if I'm not mistaken. Or an 88. It's one of those. I had a 525. I think it was a 525i. It was my first BMW. I didn't have it for that long. I actually bought it. It was a lemon. Sorry about that. My camera overheated. I guess the sun hitting the camera. Plus, I'm recording in 4K. Maybe I should start recording. Uh, did it overheat again? I think it overheated again. Anyway, yeah, maybe I got to do it like 1080, 4K, I guess, or maybe 2K. Heats up the camera too much. So where was I? I don't even remember what I was talking about. I think I was talking about BMWs. Yeah, so I had the 525. Like I said, it was a lemon. Got rid of it. So my second BMW, which I loved, was the... Uh, what happened here? was a 540. It had a 1997 540i. Ooh. It was a 540i, but it had the, uh, it was all M, M out, M kit on it. It was just mm, what a car, the V8 engine. I think it was quick. So yeah, that was my second. And uh, my third was a 2006. Was it in 2000? No, 2008. My bad. It was a 2000, right, was it a 2008? I can't even remember exactly what it was. Yeah, I think it was 2008. Had a 535i twin turbo. Oh, man. No M kit on there or nothing. It was just the regular uh, 535i turbo. What the hell's going on here with all these people? What are they waiting for? They, these people are all waiting to get inside this comic place over here. I guess there's uh, something going on here. Maybe there's somebody famous coming to the comic place. So, uh, yeah, I love that car, BMW. But uh, so many potholes here in New York, I cracked so many rims. Actually, on the, even on the other BMW, the 540, crack, cracking rims, whatever. And I got frustrated. I said, you know what? Screw this. And I traded in the 535i and uh, got the, uh, the Cherokee. Actually, I was going to go buy the X5, but... I wanted certain technologies and they didn't have it. They didn't even have automatic start. I wanted to be able to start the car up from inside the house. BMW didn't have it back then. This was like in 2004, 2014 when I was looking to get the X5. So I said, no, nope, I'm just gonna get the Jeep. The Jeep came with everything. It was fully loaded. It was an Overland, loved it. And I'm the type that always changes vehicles. I'm constantly, I'm never satisfied. I actually kept the Jeep was the longest vehicle I ever kept. I kept it for almost seven years. I had that. Seven years I had that Jeep. So I decided, you know what? When I found out about the BMW, had now automatic start, had wireless, Android Auto, all the technology, everything. I was like, you know what? It's time. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to get it. Whatever it is on the pricier side. You know, but it's so well worth it. I love this car. It's got everything, man. It's got everything that I want. And, uh, yeah, for me to upgrade to get something else in the future. Yeah, the camera overheated again. So, anyway, uh, I'm probably going to end this pretty soon because the camera can't handle it. I got to take it out of 4K. But uh, like I was saying, it's got all the technologies I want, and I don't see me upgrading. The next upgrade... If I ever get a new vehicle, it'll be in the future. Most likely, it might even be electric. Never know. But uh, it's got all the creature comforts that I like, you know. It's got my Android Auto. Everything wireless. 
I could charge the phone wirelessly. It's got a wireless charger thingy. The lighting inside here at night, the LEDs look sick. Yeah, so it's got all the stuff that I like. It's And it's got assistant in here. It's almost like having an Alexa inside my car. You know, all I gotta do is say, hello, BMW. Hello, what can I help you with? What time is it? It is 12.29 p.m. See? There you go. So it's like having uh, an Alexa inside the car, so it's pretty cool. You know? And not only that, I don't even have to touch anything. I just tell her. I say the hello thingy, and uh, I tell her, you know, I want to go to this address. Or take me to the nearest gas station, or whatever. And the whole thing will pop up on the screen with all the gas stations or whatever, and I choose which one I want to go to. So for technology, this thing is awesome. So far, I'm enjoying it. So anyway, I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Uh, let, let me know. Let me know down below if you guys want to see some videos on car detailing products. And if you want to see some more videos of me driving around New York, you know, I'll get the camera thing situated. This was like basically a dry run for doing this, you know, but I'll have it all situated. So let me know down below. All right. That's it, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.